So my dear students, now today we will discuss the black body radiation. So in the last class, I told you about the black body here. So now we will discuss this black body radiation. So first of all, you should understand the black body. It is a 100% perfect absorber and it is also a perfect 100% transmitter. So it is a perfect 100% absorber and it is also perfect transmitter. Now what you have to understand here? So black body radiation here. So radiation, it, it means what? So what, what is actually the radiation here? So you know the radiation here. So whenever you heat a particular substance, so it will radiate first. So see here, I will tell you one example here. So, le so let us take one such example. So see here. So you can easily understand here. So let us take a substance like this. And if you heat this particular substance, so you will get the radiation like this. So it will get the radiation like this. So whatever you be, you will get the radiation. So if you, if you, let us take, if you heat a particular, uh, particular vessel and a, and a gas stove or whatever may be. So it will completely, it will generate the red color with certain radiation. So generally, you know that. So in case of any substance, when you are heating a particular substance, it will release certain radiations. And those radiations which can seen, which can seen by our eye. So simply I can say that if you see a particular object, you will see certain radiations. So let us say, uh, let us understand the radiation here. So this is a particular object. So this is a sunlight here. So this is a sunlight here. And this particularly it is, this sunlight is falling on this particular substance. So this is our, this is us. So, is Manam so what happens when 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 this sunlight is passing on, on this particular substance? So this sunlight is reflected here, and we will see the particular color. That is the majorly we can see the color like with GR, the visible rays, we will see those colors. So, what are the colors with GR? V, I, B, G, Y, O, R. These are the colors generally we see in the visible radiations. So violet, indigo, blue, green, red. So like this. So the wavelength is this red color, which is very high. Let us write this is a 800 nanometers. And let us write this is a 400 nanometers. So it is not exactly the correct exact wavelength. But generally, you can write it is nearer to 400 and it is nearer to 800. So it, is, it, may, be, it may be like 350 like that. So 400. Let us write this is 450 like that. Uh, let us write this is 500. And this is 550, like it is a 600, and this is 700. So just like I'm written the wavelength values here. So see here what happens. So you can see this particular image. Let us say this image is in the certain violet color. So let us say that this image is, let us say it is a violet color. So you will see this particular color. So how can we see this particular color? So first of all, you should understand here. So the sunlight is falling on a substance, and the substance the light is reflected into our eye. So in, a, in our eye, there is a cornea here. So you know that in our eyes, there is a cornea and iris. So I don't want to tell you much about the biological part. So there is a reflection on the retina of our eye. So mana eye lo under retina me the body reflect eye mana country. So why only the violet color? Why not other radiations like? So we are, we are having the electromagnetic radiations such as generally like so we will see the radiations from the starting that is radio waves or IR waves or microwaves, microwaves and also the color which is the, the IR waves, so UV rays, X-rays, gamma rays. So why not, we, why not we are not seeing that particular electromagnetic radiations? So simply we can see only this wave GR. So I will tell you one example here. So so when you are having the length of a particular substance, so let us say some example. So if you take every matter, every matter is made up of different, different atoms here. So see here, let us see the atoms here. So these are the atoms present in a particular matter here. See this. So these are the atoms like this. So these are the atoms present in the particular matter here. So I will show an example here. So this is like a mesh. 
ఇందులో నుంచి ఒక చిన్న ఏదైనా సంథింగ్ ఒక ఇన్సెక్ట్ తీసుకున్నాను సో లెట్ సే సమ్ ఇన్సెక్ట్ లైక్ అన్ యాంట్ ఏదైనా యాంట్ ఏదైనా సటన్ ఇన్సెక్ట్స్ తీసుకున్నాను సో ఇది ఇప్పుడు ఈ పర్టికులర్ మెస్ నుంచి ఈజీగా బయటకు వెళ్ళిపోతుంది ఎందుకంటే ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ యాంట్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ లెస్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ వెరీ అదర్ ఎనిమల్ లైక్ డాగ్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ ద బిగ్ ఎనిమల్ సో ఇట్ కెనాట్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ పర్టికులర్ మెష్ ఆ మెష్ నుంచి అట్ బయటకు వెళ్ళలేదు బట్ యాంట్ వెళ్ళగలదు ఎందుకు అంటే ద యాంట్ సైజ్ ఇస్ వెరీ లెస్ సో ద డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దిస్ ఐ విల్ షో విత్ అదర్ కలర్ సో యూ కెన్ ఈజీలీ అండర్స్టాండ్ హియర్ సో ద డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ హై కంపేరింగ్ విత్ యాంట్ కలర్ సో యాంట్ సో యాంట్ కి ఆ డిస్టెన్స్ అనేది చాలా ఎక్కువ సో అందులో నుంచి మధ్యలో నుంచి వెళ్ళిపోతుంది అదే డాక్ తీసుకుంటే అందులో నుంచి వెళ్ళదు ఇక్కడ సో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ లైక్ దాట్ అవర్ విజిబుల్ అవర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద వాట్ ఎవర్ ద ఎలక్ట్రో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ రేడియేషన్స్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ సో వాట్ ఎవర్ ద వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ రేడియో వేవ్స్ ఫస్ట్ అండర్స్టేక్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ రేడియో వేవ్స్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ మైక్రోవేవ్స్ మైక్రో వేవ్స్ సో విల్ రైట్ ఆల్ ద రేడియేషన్స్ సో మైక్రోవేవ్స్ దెన్ ఐఆర్ వేవ్స్ దెన్ యూవి విజిబుల్ ఫోర్స్ అండ్ దెన్ యూవి and next which is x rays gamma rays so see this so we are having this particularly this particular radiation and you know the, from the, this is a particular order of increasing energy and the decreasing wavelength here so here the wavelength which is decreasing like this so wavelength which is completely decreasing and the energy which is increasing order so the radio waves and the microwaves ir waves visible rays it is a order of increasing energy and the decreasing wavelength here so see here the wavelength here we can see here the radio waves which are having very high wavelength that is greater than 10000 nanometers 10000 nanometers so but here this gamma rays which is very less as less than 0.1 nanometers very very less but this visible region that is 400 to 800 nanometers so the wavelength of this visible region it must matches with the distance between the atoms and a particular matter here so that you have to understand here so a particular object to mana kanabadalante a distance madhyalo mana edaina teeskunnanu a distance madhyalo distance undi kada andulo mana visible rays anadi andulo nunchi povali anamata andulo nunchi elthane manaku particular edaina visible rays lo kanipistadi so ipudu oka ray teeskunnanu oka pedda ray teeskondi so let us remove all these things i will draw the another simple diagram so that you can easily understand here so let us draw again a structure like this so there are many atoms like this so so these are the atoms like this so these are many atoms like this present in a particular matter these are different different atoms are there now so what happens see this so the distance between this so so see here the distance between these atoms see here it must matches with the wavelength of our visible rays so man particular ga manaku x ray iskonnanu ఇక్కడ గామా రేస్ ఎట్లా ఉంది ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ లెస్ వేవ్ లెన్ బట్ ద రేడియో వేవ్స్ ఆర్ విచ్ ఈస్ వెరీ హై సో రేడియో వేవ్స్ అనేది ఇంత పెద్ద ఉన్నాయి ఇట్లా దీస్ ఆర్ ద రేడియో వేవ్స్ దాట్స్ ఇట్ గామా రేస్ ఎలా ఉంటాయి అంటే ఇలా ఉంటాయి గామా రేస్ అనేది ఇలా ఉంటాయి ద వేవ్ లెన్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ లెస్ లెస్ దాన్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ నానోమీటర్ బట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ద విజిబుల్ రేస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సెంట్రల్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎలక్ట్రోమాగ్నెటిక్ రేడియేషన్ సో అవి ఎలా ఉంటది మీడియం రేంజ్ లో ఉంది అనుకున్నాను ఇలా మీడియం రేజ్ లో ఉంది అనుకోండి సో లెట్ అస్ డ్రా విత్ అనదర్ కలర్ సో ఐ విల్ షో లెట్ అస్ సీ హియర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద పింక్ కలర్ ఐఎమ్ షోయింగ్ సీ హియర్ సో ద వేవ్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ విజిబుల్ రేంజ్ విల్ బి లైక్ దిస్ సో ఈ పింక్ కలర్ ఏదైతే ఉందో ఆ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ దీనికి మ్యాచ్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి ఇందులో నుంచి పర్ఫెక్ట్ గా వెళ్తుంది కాబట్టి మనకు కనిపిస్తుంది సో అదే అంత పెద్ద ఎక్స్ రే ఉంది అనుకోండి అది అక్కడే ఆగిపోతుంది ఈవెన్ దిస్ ఎక్స్ రేస్ అండ్ రేడియో వేస్ బోత్ ఇట్ విల్ నాట్ అప్లికేబుల్ హియర్ అండ్ మన ఐ లో కూడా మనకు ఆ విజిబుల్ రేడియేషన్ కి విజిబుల్ రేడియేషన్ మాత్రమే మనం అప్లికబుల్ అవుతుంది మన రెటీనా మీద అదొకటే రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అవుతుంది ఎందుకు అంటే ద వేవ్ లెంత్ ఇట్ మ్యాచెస్ జనరలీ విత్ ద 
uh, with the distance between those atoms in a particular matter here edo you oka know, matter teesukunte adi kanipistundi ante mana wavelength dantho match avutadi so mana visible region ane dantho match avutadi kabatti you will get that particular blue color yellow color whatever we will see that particular color so here you can easily understand here here you have to discuss the black body radiation here so whenever if we if we if we heat a particular substance edan oka heat chesinappudu you will see different colors here so like i, I let us say one coal edan bogu iskunnanu coal iskunna mana heat chese em avutadi so manaku first red color avutadi so first red you know that every everything first it will generally it will give the red color here so let us see again the vibgr so v i b g y o r so you know that this is the order of increasing wavelength so the order of increasing wavelength here because the red color which is having 800 nanometers and this violet which is 400 nanometers so generally it is not it is an approximate value this not exact value here. so here the wavelength is increasing here so from red to violet generally it is decreasing here so what happens so when you heat a particular substance like coal edana coal bogu gane edana iskonu so when you heat this particular substance so first it will give red color and slowly it, it it will generally it will give some green bluish color so generally it will give some bluish color like that so why it is bluish color that means you will see that from red color is changing to red color is changing to this blue color so why this is happening here so because the wavelength which is decreasing here so first red color the wavelength is very large like this but after some time the radiation it is emitted by that body which will be like this so that is the radiation here emitted by the body here so here the black body radiation so here you have to discuss the black body radiation here black body radiation here so what what is a black body it is a body it is an ideal body which is perfect observer and perfect emitter so what it is radiation mean the emitted radiation so when you heat when you when you place heat when you heat a particular body that means you are increasing the temperature so when you are increasing the temperature what happens here so when you increase the temperature the radiations released by this body the radiations released by the body radiations emitted by the body radiation emitted by the body so what happens to the radiations emitted by the body radiations emitted i'm telling you is not absorbing emit avutunnadi biotic release ayeti enti so biotic release ayetappudu then wavelength em avutundi energy em avutundi and wavelength em avutundi frequency em avutundi that is the question here so when you heat a particular substance remember that it will release the certain electromagnetic radiations here so if you take any any object so even if you take the human body also if you temperature increases here so when you increase the temperature when you heat a particular substance so first it will generally give the red color slowly the wavelength will decreases here so that is we have to understand here why the wavelength is decreasing why the en energy is increasing so what happens with the frequency what happens with the energy what happens with the wavelength so that we have to study in this black body radiation here so the black body radiation is nothing but the radiation emitted by the black body by heating that particular body or by increasing the temperature what happens so i, I will show you one graph first so so that you can easily understand here so let us see the graph of this so this is the graph of black body radiation here so see here the radiation the exact graph will be like this so this graph it explains the black body radiation graph here so see here so the left side the y axis which is radiation intensity here so radiation intensity here so this is the radiation intensity it, it can it can you can you can call it as a energy here because the intensity is nothing but energy per unit time and area here energy per unit time and area which is called the energy simply you can say the number of radiations here so number of radiations here so an increase in the temperature so first 2000 kelvin 3000 kelvin 4000 kelvin 5000 kelvin so what happened the graph is actually like this so like this so like this so graph is it is showing like this this is the black body spectrum here here you have to understand why it is like this so we will understand here 
So let, let us see the graph here. So once again, I will show you the graph with and related with different different theories for this. So I will show you the another um, another graph. So see here, this is the actual black body spectrum graph. So why it is showing again these colors? So see here. So this this is the temperature scale here. So what happens? See here. When you increase the temperature, what happens? See here. So observe here what what is actually happening. So in case of the graph, see here. So slowly I'm increasing the temperature. See here what happens? The graph is slowly moving towards to left side. So see here. I'm actually this is very low temperature. Okay, very good. This is low temperature. So I'm increasing the temperature. See here. The earth, the, the temperature, this right side part, this is the temperature scale. So, see, observe here, this is the temperature scale and see the graph of this particular spectrum here. So, see what happens here. So, now first, here I'm increasing the temperature. So, I'm increasing the temperature. So, slowly the graph is rising. See here. So, slowly the graph is rising. So, see here, the graph is rising like this. So, why? What is the reason here? So you can see also see here the color changing here. So see here the colors are appearing here. The blue, green, red. What, what happens here? What you can see here when you increase the temperature here. So once again observe here. So slowly I'm increasing. So red color is appearing here. So when you when you heat a particular substance, so you will get red color first. Slowly, slightly you will get the green color. So slightly you are getting green color. And slowly afterwards, the blue color is coming. See here, the blue, blue color is coming also here. So blue color is getting. So slowly red, co red color is going down here and the graph is increasing like this and it is moving towards the left side. So because the wavelength, which it, it should be decreases like this. So see here, the wavelength here, it is starting from here. This is 0, 10, 30, 40 like this. This is the wavelength here and this is the energy here that is the intensity here. See what happens here. So when you increase the temperature, so I'm slowly, I'm increasing the graph. See, the, observe the graph and the colors, blue, green, red. So slowly, I'm increasing the temperature. The graph is rising. The graph is rising again, again, and again, and it reaches like this. So let us stop here. So th this is the final. So th this is the uh, highest peak, maximum peak here. So see here, what happens here? So why this particularly you are getting, why this graph, it is moving towards to left side? So an increase in the temperature, what actually it is increasing? Why the color is changing? Why the color is changing from red to blue? We will understand all these things. So let, let us again see the particular our spectrum that is. So again, see our spectrum here, normal spectrum. So see this particularly spectrum here. So see this spectrum here first. So first of all, you need to understand that. So when you draw a curve like this, and this is the intensity here, it is nothing but energy per unit time here. And here, this is the wavelength here from zero to like this. So first you need to understand this curve and this curve. So you, you will release. So see here, first the graph you will get like this. So when you increase the temperature, so generally it is a black body spectrum here. So uh, first of all, we don't want any temperature. See this first, first what the graph will be like this. So this is a black body spectrum here. So see here, so when you increase the wavelength here, see here, the intensity is increasing here, again it is decreasing. Then you decrease the wavelength, first increases and then decreases here. So that is the intensity versus wavelength, the graph of the black body spectrum. But you have to understand one thing that is, so when you increase the temperature like this, first 300, 4000, 5000 Kelvin, slowly the wavelength is shifting, wavelength is moving towards to left side here. So first it is in red color, see here. Next it is green color, next it is blue color. So that is VIBGR, V I B G Y O R. So it is 800 nanometers, the wavelength, and it is 400 nanometers. See the colors, so red color, which is very high wavelength and then green, green and the blue. See here that you can easily understand here. So you can also see this, this is green color, this is blue color, this is red color. 
so red color which is very high wavelength but slowly when you are heating the temperature that is 300 4000 5000 so it is changing into blue color the wavelength is decreasing like this so this is 800 nanometers and this is uh, this is let us say it is 600 nanometers and let us say this is blue color will be 500 nanometers so like this the wavelength is decreasing like this so you have to understand this spectrum why it is happening that i will tell you later on but the spectrum will be like this the spectrum will be like this now this is called the black body spectrum here now let us understand some certain theory certain rules so let us understand these particularly this uh, laws which are theories which is explained for the black body spectrum here now let us understand this first so this particular spectrum black body spectrum so see here it is having the ultraviolet region visible region and infrared region so why what, what is this infrared visible and everything here so let us see the loss first so let us let us see the loss related to this black body spectrum here so first this is relay gene's law so a rally gene's law relay gene's law so most of the cases it is generally called rally gene's law rally is a another scientist and james gene is a, another scientist so both of them they are the scientists and they first actually they, they comes under the classical mechanics actually so what happens so what they told here so according to relay gene's law so i don't want you explain you much physics and mathematics here so i just give you a formula so that you can easily understand here so according to relay a rally rally and gene at high temperature wavelengths are low frequencies it follows but at lower wavelength a high frequency so what is this high low we will we will remove all these things so first very simple first you have to understand this particular equation here so what is this equation so he it is given equation by the rally gene's law so he told that so energy which is directly related with the mu square mu which is nothing but the frequency here so e e is equal to e is directly related with the mu square so he is given particular relation so the derivation of this i don't want to discuss the derivation of this but you can see the derivation of rally and gene's law in the youtube also you can sir you will get the derivation of this and you you have you have to study this also in the physics also so this particular equation it will gives a relationship between the energy and frequency here so that is frequency square here so that you can easily understand here see here the energy which is related with the frequency square you know that frequency it is nothing but it is the 1 by lambda and 1 is nothing but 1 second 1 is nothing but 1 second so you know that so the frequency is nothing but the number of waves in one second in one second so it is a inverse of this particularly the frequency so because it is inverse in relation with this it is inverse in relation with the lambda here so nothing but this, this is a constant here so exactly you can say the lambda so the frequency actually which is equal to c by lambda c is nothing but the speed of light speed of light here and speed of light and this is the wavelength here so see here the wavelength and the energy frequency and the wavelength remember that energy is directly related with nu and nu is directly inverse in relation with the lambda so that you have to remember this so by seeing this equation what he actually he gave he gave a relationship between the energy and the energy and the frequency so see here a to pi nu square so that is e is directly relation with the nu square he told only this equation so so, uh, so forget all those relations so simply remember this e is directly relation with the nu square so that means it is inverse in relation with the lambda square so that means so if you increase a, increase a particular uh, wavelength here what happens here so see here so let us remove all the temperature everything so first let us see the relationship between the energy and the frequency here so energy and the lambda that is the wavelength here so the wavelength here it is like this and the wavelength slowly we are moving towards to left side that means wavelength which is decreasing here so slowly wavelength decreasing 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 like this. see here what happens so the graph which is like this so graph like this slowly it is the graph is moving like this the graph is moving like this so graph is moving towards to left side that means wavelength is decreasing we are decreasing the wavelength here so we are decreasing the wavelength here so first we are decreasing the wavelength so what happens energy here 
So the energy, see here, this is the energy. It is nothing but the energy per unit time. That is called the intensity or number of radiations here. So the energy which is increasing slowly like this. So till here, okay, it is very good. But after suddenly, it again, it will, again, it is decreases like this. So it is again decreases like this. So why it is decreasing again? So why it is decreasing again? So, but according to Raleigh and James Jeans, so he told that energy is inverse in relation with the lambda square. Lambda square. So, see here, energy must if 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 you increase if you increase the wavelength here, if you increase the wavelength, and the energy must be decreases here. So, this is the Raleigh and Jeans law. So, so see here, energy we are decreasing the first the wavelength here slowly decreasing. We are moving towards left side. Till here, okay, it is enough. But see here, suddenly the graph which will be like this. But according to Raleigh and Jeans, the graph will be like this. So the, the graph will be like this. So continuously it should increase because E is even directly inverse in relation with the lambda square. So lambda, lambda square only. And inka too much release over. So lambda ki lambda square ki third on the inka echo increase over. So echo increase over and then when you increase over. Level. So the graph you can see here, it is not increasing here suddenly it is decreasing so why he, he don't know that but according to Raleigh and Jean's law so it is particular equation so it is actually correct so whatever he told it is correct for the a certain stage here so what what is certain stage here that you can see here so at high wavelength so this is high wavelength you know that this is high wavelength and this is low wavelength and see here it is increasing increasing it is still energy is increasing means increasing like this Energy is increasing, increasing like this, increasing, increasing like this. So that means according to Raleigh and genes, at high wavelengths, at high wavelengths, at high wavelength, at high wavelength, at high wavelength, are low frequencies. Remember that lambda is inversely relation with the frequency. Remember that that is a very, very important thing here. So at very high wavelengths are low frequencies, it follows. So, okay, a black body spectrum and the pop minus epina to higher wavelengths agara, low frequency agara, follow it. But it fails at, at explain it, uh, so it fails. So, okay, but at lower wavelengths or high frequencies, it fails. Kani, when higher wavelengths agara, low frequencies agara, okay, it follow in the. But at lower wavelengths, so lower wavelengths and it said, it said, and at high frequencies. Lower wavelengths and high frequency are not together. So you can see here the graph should be increases like this. So why here? So the you have to understand this. So let, let us understand here. So from here, so lambda and energy decreases. So lambda slow decreases energy, energy decreases and increases in energy decreases. So that you have to understand here. So according to classical mechanics. So, this is classical mechanics. So, this is the classical mechanics. So, this is the classical mechanics here. This is the classical mechanics curve. And this is the quantum mechanics curve. This is the quantum mechanics curve. So, what is classical and what is quantum here? So, very simple. Classical is the olden mechanics here. Olden, sun, solar system, different, different molecules. They given certain certain rules, certain ideas, certain formulas, etc. A formula and a needic set of outlet, you put black body set of outlet. A de sanko, where than the set I is. But a black body key, electron key, proton key, you could also set a land with quantum mechanics. So, according to classical mechanics, rally and genes, and in your pinata energy pergalante, so manam and wavelength and thaggy ali. So, wavelength thaggy is energy pergale. So, other could Jeruthana, Fabna Prakana, first to higher wavelength, the character of Tuni. And energy perutune on the manam wavelength agishna godi. Kani oka stage coaching the ravata. Sadenga wavelength takuana guda, energy pergals in the pergat level. Energy guda takipotuni. Indu takiputu and a kardangal. So that is the, that is the, whatever the limitations of the rally genes la. And the clever applicable in the end, only at higher wavelengths, but at lower wavelengths or high frequencies, the completely the law fails here. So that is a rally genes law. So remember this. At what? At, at see here. So here, see here the lambda max here. So 
So generally, the people will confuse here most of the cases at lambda max here. So lambda max is nothing but so let us see the lambda max here. So lambda max is nothing but the higher wavelength. So you cannot lambda max and maximum wavelength that are called. It is a wavelength. It may be two hundred. It may be three hundred. It 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 may be any term, any wavelength. But the molecules are very high. So the molecules are very high here. So the number of radiations which are very high at this particular region here. And take look at body in the room. A certain body in the then heat just in a temperature is shown. So the radiations are religious. Is the radiations are religious there. The different different radiations religious. Only 200 religious. Only 400 nanometers religious. Only 500 nanometers religious. Only 700 nanometers religious. Only 1200 nanometers. Different different wavelengths. Only different different wavelengths. Only are the energy religious. Radiations are religious. Our radiations religious 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 process low. A radiations equals to that. Let us say this is the 500. So 500 radiations मात्रम चाला ये कोस्ट में, एक कोस्ट में, अंडे ओके ओके साथे सब्सटेंस इस कोन, this is one particular substance, it is releasing the radiations like 200 nanometers, and मल्ली अंडे इनको को 200 अच्छी ना नुकोन, इनको को 300 अच्छी ना नुकोन, इनको को 400 nanometers wave अच्छी ना नुकोन, ओके radiation, like this, so इनको सारे 900 अच्छी नहीं, but 500 इस कोन, so 500 nanometers पकड़ी गाल, so 500 nanometers इला multiple का नहीं 500 अच्छी ना नुकोन so the lambda max is nothing but lambda max is a wavelength at which the maximum number of radiations are released here so lambda max ante ekko wavelength undi anukuntaru wavelength ekku unte ikkada undala adi so wavelength ekku 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 untadi so you can see here this is a low wavelength here and this is high wavelength here so ante lambda at ekku unta right side left side lower wavelength undi so madhyalo undi lambda max ante maximum wavelength ka the wavelength at which the maximum energy is there, maximum radiation is there. Number of radiations are more at that particular lambda here. So, this is 200 and this is 800 nanometers. So, let us say this is the 500 nanometer. So, 500 nanometers wavelength on radiation. So, chala too much you know, higher release. So, that, that, is a, that is here, that is here. So, the energy is maximum here. The number of radiations are very high at that particular 500 nanometers. So that is called the lambda max here. So according to Riley and James Jeans, so he told that energy should be increases. Energy should be increases on decreasing wavelength. But here at high wavelengths, it is satisfied here. But at lower wavelengths, the completely this law fails here. So he don't know why it is happening here. So hence the ascertain there are many other laws came. So those are from the quantum mechanics. We will discuss the reasons for that. That in the uh, that in the quantum mechanics. But here the Rayleigh James law. So the, the, this is very very important here. So at your annual exams also it will come. What is the black body radiation? What is Rayleigh James law? And what is this UV catastrophe? UV catastrophe. You need to understand this UV catastrophe also. So UV catastrophe is nothing but so in, you can say the catastrophe like completely the disappearing disappearing and a catastrophe and until i did not completely a national model pale podium disaster order completely a national model really poor sudden the change order sudden the nasa podium sudden the last order sudden the change order i think then the catastrophe under sudden the change is a catastrophe under so first is let us understand here one thing so here the wavelength which is here very low wavelength and which is high wavelength, high wavelength here. So let us see the radiations like first, which is generally it is a radio waves first and then microwaves, microwaves and then IR waves, then visible waves and then UV rays and then X rays and then gamma. This is the electromagnetic radiations here. So let us see here the visible radiation, IR radiation and the UV radiation. So here the radiation here. So this is this is an order of order of decreasing lambda here. So visible reason ke kunda. Remember that it is a 800 nanometer and this UV which is a 400 nanometers. So see here. So visible reason which is 800. So slowly it should be decreases like this. And the e graph lo visible reason ekaron dalle UV reason ekaron dalle IR reason ekaron dalle. So IR ki ekko wavelength dunde. You can see here. So, IR, you can see here. 
so this is a the wavelength it is decreasing so on like this so this is high, higher which is having very higher wavelength and then visible region then uv region so higher which is having very high wavelength so let us take from here to here let us take it is a so this is a ir region let us let us assume that it is a ir region and this is a uv region and in between this this is a visible region see here what happening what is happening here so let us understand here so i will so see here this is the region so where it is a visible region and the red color which is visible region and this this is white color this is ir radiation and next the another color i will show you with another color see here the green color and this is the uv radiation see what what is actually this radiations here so nothing but every body which will release certain radiations when you are increasing the temperature here so temperature increase chesina appudu radiation the release chestundi so release chese tappudu it will release a radiation which is with the different different wavelengths here so the release chese radiations anedivi ila pedda undochu లేదా కొంచెం ఇట్లా చిన్నగా ఉండొచ్చు లేదా మొత్తం ఇంత పెద్ద కూడా ఉండొచ్చు సో వాట్ ఎవర్ హిట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ సో ఇట్ విల్ రిలీజ్ ద రేడియేషన్స్ లైక్ దిస్ సో ఆ రేడియేషన్స్ రిలీజ్ చేస్తే ఒకవేళ విజిబుల్ యూవి రిలీజ్ యూవి విజిబుల్ ఐఆర్ మూడు రకాల రేడియేషన్స్ రిలీజ్ చేసింది అనుకుందాం సో ఐఆర్ రేడియేషన్ కి వేవ్ లెంత్ ఎక్కువ సో ఐఆర్ రేడియేషన్ ఏమో ఇంత పెద్ద ఉంది అనుకుందాం సో విజిబుల్ రేషన్ అంటే కొంచెం నార్మల్ ఉన్నాయి అనుకుందాం యూవి రేస్ అంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ లెస్ అగైన్ లైక్ దిస్ సో సీ హియర్ సో దిస్ పర్టికులర్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద visible rays so this last one which is uv rays and this is the visible ray and this is the ir rays so it will, a substance will release the radiations which are ir visible and uv here so see here first it is releasing the radiations so what happened there is um, see here so first it is nothing so slowly it is energy is increasing increasing like this so when you decrease the wavelength so that means when you increase the temperature so first it is releasing the radiation which is exactly equal with the ir radiation but after some time you will get the visible radiation so after some time you will get the uv radiation suddenly at uv radiation you will get the drop of this drop of that particular curve suddenly uv dagar vachi sarike a curve tagi poi kindi kochestadi energy tagi pothadi so andike dani uv catastrophe antu so uv catastrophe is a phenomenon at which the graph it is showing that the energy is decreasing here yet exact uv region ki vache sariki energy dagi podadu anamata so first ir radiation undi so edana oka body edana oka body manam heat chesina appudu it will release the radiation here so once again i will show you all these things here so see here so when you heat a particular substance oka particular substance ni heat chesina appudu it will release the radiations like this so mana edante mana mana em anukuntam ante ippudu udaharanaku so this is a, a body like this and let us take so there is a particularly sunlight is there it is electromagnetic radiation here so whenever a substance a sunlight is falling on a particular substance it will release different different radiations here so it may release this particular radiation or it may also release this particular radiation here లేదు అనుకుంటే ఇంత ఇంకా పెద్ద ఇట్ ఇస్ మచ్ రిలీజ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో రిలీజ్ ద రేడియేషన్ లైక్ దిస్ సో ఇంత ఇంత చిన్న వేవలెన్స్ తో కూడా రిలీజ్ చేయొచ్చు సో దట్ ద ఎమిషన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ బాడీ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ బ్లాక్ బాడీ ఉదాహరణకి ఇది బ్లాక్ బాడీ అనుకుందాం సో బ్లాక్ బాడీ అయితే ఆ రేడియేషన్స్ ని బ్లాక్ బాడీ రేడియేషన్ అంటారు సో హియర్ ద రేడియేషన్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ హియర్ సో ద రేడియేషన్స్ విచ్ ఈ వెరీ లో వేవలెన్స్ హియర్ దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ వన్ and this is very high wavelength here this is very high and this is the medium here so this is the medium here so let us understand here by taking one example by releasing three types of radiation here so first it is releasing like this okay the pink color and i will show with another radiation like this this is the another one the green color and the next one so we will see the another color like bluish like sorry so it must be very big so like this so when you heat a particular temperature so see here when you are increasing the temperature so first when you increase in the temperature increase in the temperature first actually let us take it is let us take the temperature at uh, 
let us take it to 200 centigrade first. So at 100 degrees Celsius. So let us take the room temperature like 25 degrees. So like 25 degrees Celsius here. So after some time, you are heating this particular substance at 100 degrees Celsius here. So it will release the radiations. It is, it is releasing the radiation with three different types. The first one, second one, and the third one. So it is releasing this different, different radiations here. So generally, the radiations it is releasing like this. So I will show with different, different colors also. So let us remove all these things because the red color it should be very high. So I will, I will show with that color also. See here the higher color, which is red color. So and the medium, the green is very medium like this. So it will release the green color with medium wavelength and the blue color, which is very, very less. So see here, I'm increasing the temperature on this particular substance here. So let us see first zero degrees Celsius, or you can see 100 degrees Celsius, or you can increase the 200 degrees Celsius. So it will release the radiations like this with the three types of radiations here. So this is actually, and this two radiations, this is called IR radiation. So let us think that it is an IR radiation and this is the UV, this is the visible region and this is the UV region. So IR radiation, it is actually very, very higher wavelength comparing with the visible region and then UV, which is very less comparing with the visible region. So different, different radiations you will get and the radiations generally, let us think that, so here the graph, it is like this. So my graph is on the end, so you graph this one. So first graph along the end, it is slowly, it is releasing the radiations like this. So first it decreases out on the wavelength decreases out. So on the first IR on the slow and visible region goes to me. Suddenly UV the girl coaches like kindy coaches. So at UV, at UV region coaches are gay energy tagi boy kindy coaches. So actual energy, it must be increases like this. So according to classical mechanics, energy should be increases because energy is inversely relation with the lambda square according to Raleigh and genes but here the wavelength even if it is decreasing the energy should be increased but it is also decreasing at a uv region hence the reason which is called this phenomenon is called the uv catastrophe uv catastrophe see here see here you can easily understand here first ir region so see here you can easily understand this is a classical theory so this classical theory the energy should be increases like this because according to Raleigh and James, the energy which is inversely relation with the 1 by lambda square. So inversely relation with the lambda square, that means if you decrease the lambda and energy should be increases by two times. So that is the case here. But it is increasing, increasing at higher wavelengths. So when you are decreasing the wavelength, so at this particular UV region, suddenly you will get the decreased, uh, decreased generally the decrease curve here, you will get the curve which is lowered curve here. So you can easily understand, you see this curve slowly, it is increasing, increasing. So this is the IR radiation. So this is the visible region. So again, suddenly you will get the UV region. UV is the most important thing. At UV is the most important thing. It is the most important thing. It is the most important thing. So this is the failure of the classical mechanics. So classical mechanics, classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, like small particles, ki asal set ka do. Koni ki ap kani ki correct ka do mat. Indu ka do. And the reason inte ante ida mat. This is the failure of classical mechanics. So failure of classical mechanics here. So classical mechanics indu fail and ante pa man energy inverse relation the pen lambda ki. Okay, starting lo ke inverse relation hundi. Kasi pa intra sa directly relation hundi. So first two energy should be inverse relation with lambda square. If the higher wavelength is correct only, but after some time it is energy directly relation with the lambda square. So directly relation I pen. So when the condition slow and then wavelength decreases, so energy will decrease also. So directly relation I not tell. So that is the failure of this particularly Rayleigh Jeans law. So in the exam also you will you will have to write this Rayleigh and Jeans law. So this is the black body spectrum here. So this is the black body spectrum and you have to understand this black body spectrum with classical mechanics and the UV catastrophe. 
and see this is the the zoom in picture of this particularly black body spectrum here so once again we will discuss the black body spectrum because so the failure of rally uh, rally genes the failure of this particularly the large rally engine it can be solved by the another scientist so there are many uh, the uh, the quantum mechanics came here according to classical mechanics completely the rally engines the the law is particularly complete it is failure here complete fail aipindi na kodadu kavali kottala vastanna that comes under the quantum mechanics with the next theory next scientist he is a max planck here so that we will discuss in the next session but see this curve here so this is the rally and genes law remember so you don't have to remember this formula just see the uh, see the uh, relation between this energy and the frequency and the energy with the wavelength here so that you have to understand here so sometimes in the books it is given as a graph like this so ila kaakunda is wavelength undi so this is actually the wavelength here so let, let us draw the diagram with another way so ide diagram ni inkoka laga ni draw cheyochu ela ante so ikkada chudanna so according to him so ayana prakaram ayana em cheppanu ante so see here the graph will be like this i will draw both at a time here So let us draw this on side here. So he let us draw these two curves at a time here. So if you take the energy here, the energy, and you are using the lambda here. If you take the energy with frequency here, and the relation into and the energy is directly relation with the frequency square, and the energy is inversely relation with the lambda square. So here is the relation of matter. So when the curve in the moon actually it looks like and the you will get the curve like this and actual prediction it will be like this so actual anedi ila undal anamata so actual anedi it will increase avval slow it should be increases like this so classical mechanics ala increase avvali so first energy decrease increase avvali tarvata decrease avvali so that is the case if you take the frequency curve if you take the frequency here so the completely the graph will be different so man frequency energy anedi directly relation undi so and mana frequency tagisthe energy kuda tagi povali so this graph completely completely reverse completely reverse aipothe so mana illa unna graph illa aipothe reverse aipothe so chudandi ikka decrease chestunna anukondi energy kuda decrease avutundi but after some time it is again after some time again it is increasing here so ikkada nenu frequency ni decrease chestunna slow ga frequency decrease chestunna decrease chestunna okay energy ikkada vache varaku decrease ayindi మళ్ళీ ఏమైంది సడన్ ఎనర్జీ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయింది సో క్లాసికల్ ప్రకారం క్లాసికల్ ప్రకారంగా ఇట్ షుడ్ బి కంప్లీట్లీ ఎనర్జీ షుడ్ బి డిక్రీజెస్ లైక్ దిస్ మొత్తం డిక్రీజ్ అవ్వాలి కానీ సడన్ గా ఇంక్రీజ్ అవుతుంది సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద క్లాసికల్ ప్రొడిక్షన్ అండ్ క్వాంటమ్ మెకానిక్స్ ఇయర్ సో క్వాంటమ్ మెకానిక్స్ ర్యాలీ జీన్స్ లాని అది తప్పు బట్టి నీది కాదు ఈ రిలేషన్ ఈ రిలేషన్ ఓన్లీ హైయర్ వేవ్లెన్స్ దగ్గర హైయర్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ దగ్గర కరెక్ట్ అవుతుంది బట్ జనరల్ గా ఇది అన్ని అన్ని వేవ్లెన్స్ దగ్గర ఇది తప్పు అని చెప్తుంది అనమాట so it all wavelength this particular law is not applicable and chart so that is a rally and genes law so ekkada mistake avutundi ante it uv reason and the thing is uv catastrophe ani kuda antaru so see here the next um, the next scientist here that again means 